Welcome back to Frozen Education, this is Ed. Today, we're going to be talking about Vinkov Genshurst going with the ticker BBIG. In this video, we're going to go a bit towards the due diligence, technical analysis, and what I think about this one. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. My last video is in the description below, I do recommend that you do watch it, but we do have some different things I do want to talk about. For instance, first off is on the June 30th, 2021, compared to the December 30th, 2020 you're able to see that this company's assets exploded by almost five times so you're able to see we were around 28 million dollars in total assets and jumped up to around 121 million shares right before even that massive jump that we've seen uh, mainly that's just from the january jump and as you've seen, if you've seen my previous videos, we did talk about the warrants and the exercising and how much money they're going to have uh, up totaling almost at some point 480 million or somewhere around roughly there uh, in terms of cash proceeds from warrants being exercised, assuming all warrants were exercised in addition to around 127, 128 million dollars of cash that they do have aside. And of course, that will be seen in the next earnings in the next Q or 10Q report. Now, on other parts, I also did talk in my last video about the October 15th uh, date and how the X record or X dividend rate is around two days before then in order to secure these TYDE uh, spin offs dividend. This one will be probably on October 13th, 2021, as you get to see it's two days before that dividend date. So there's that. And uh, the money we were talking about was this one here. I did mention it in the last video, $491.6 million plus 127 million as of uh, basically the third or sorry, the third of September, um, assuming that all warrants were exercised for cash. Now, on other side that I do want to talk about here today is one of their uh, companies that they do have that they're trying to grow, Lomotive. So Lomotive here, I put it in the United States because apparently that is also very popular in Senegal. Not the app, but a singer or an influencer. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't digged up into it. But into the United States, you're able to see in the past month, Lomotive basically isn't the biggest kind of... Uh, app that you can think about now a lot of people are trying to put it into the same level as TikTok. my understanding is it works similarly but you're able to see that in district of columbia it's the most popular than louisiana new jersey and then it drops to hawaii and virginia now, there's around 29 sub regions of people searching it up but the main related topics are merger and acquisitions and the other one is TikTok topic so it could be TikTok topics people searching for it but mainly the interest in it is from st stockholders from what i see now basically on the play store you're able to find it lamotive social platform it has around three stars and a half or three stars and a quarter and what you see here is that there's around 481,000 downloads. Now, hopefully we're able to see this one raise up. So if you want to share this video and show the people the motive itself and how important it is, you can share my video to your friends and others on social media in order to see it and understand that the impact off the motive itself. Now on the app store itself, this is for Apple. You're able to see that it's an 83 in photos and videos with 4.6 rating. And there's around 312 or 312.6 thousands ratings for this one. So um, you're able to see combined, you probably would have around 1 million users downloaded onto this one. Active users, we don't have much information about this one that is very accurate. Now, on the other side, institutional buyers were able to see on the 17th on Friday, Virtual Financial LLC liquidated around 33.5% of all their shares. Uh, that is around almost 95,000 shares. Insiders, we don't have much to talk about. There's not been much activity for insiders uh, in the last 90 days. Uh, the last one, though, was on the 13th of September, and we did talk about McFillin, Philip, Anthony, and these shares were actually given to him as a legal counsel for this company. Now, in terms of the short borrow fee rate, currently it's sitting at 49 almost percent. So that kind of stabilized from what we've talked about. But the short shares availability is currently sitting at 650,000 shares. So um, that's basically the shorts or shares that are not being borrowed at this point and returned. Um, and we're able to see as well that the short volume ratio did drop while it was exploding to around 30 percent and starting to climb back to 42 percent. Now, this is the short volumes, meaning the short side of the total volume in general. Volumes have dipped a bit 
from the topping around 175 million in the last 10 days, then dropping to 70 million. Currently, in the last trading day, we only saw around 27 million uh, basically trades or total volume in general. Before moving on forward, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and leave notifications on. Also, don't forget to drop a like to this video. It helps my channel a lot if you do both. A lot of you amazing folks watch my videos but haven't done so yet. And don't forget to join my Discord totally free in the description below. Now, on another thing is I was taking a look into this pattern and it kind of looked familiar. And it is very similar to the cup one or the cup handle or sorry, cup handle pattern. Now, we don't have the handle yet because we're not seeing a push upwards. But basically what I'm trying to say, this is a cup. You might actually have a handle soon and if you do have this cup that's a bearish kind of sign because it does drop afterwards now i'm just trying to be unbiased and give you giving you all the information you do need to make your own decision but basically for what this looks currently as an inverted cup and it could look like an inverted cup with handle sometime soon now let's move on towards technical analysis now from a technical analysis perspective, first off we have the moving averages. Currently the 10 SMA is above the 30 MA and the 50 SMA is above the 200 SMA, which is very bullish. And what we get to see here is that there's something called the trading action zone. That's between the 10 SMA at the 908 and the 30 MA at the 660. Now that's where most positive reversals usually occur. And currently it's within this channel, so that's very, very nice to see, very positive in general. Currently, on the average directional index, it's sitting at 38.78, suggesting a pullback from where we're seeing at the higher levels around almost 46. So that's something to consider. Uh, it is drawing a little bit lower into volumes, and we're going to get to that in a second. William percent R, which is very similar to the relative strength index, is showing that this one is highly being oversold, meaning that there's a lot more selling going on than buying. Now, in this selling, it's not really only short sellers, it's also a lot of panic buyers and panic longs, panic investors, or panic traders. So it's basically all it is is just panic selling, um, in addition towards some short selling. And it could be some institutional as well manipulation, but I really doubt that at this level. I do think that there's a lot of people who are looking at this one, who bought around here, and are basically a bit scared and selling around here. Now, in terms of the MACD itself, we've gone towards the negative side. That's very dangerous because it suggests that momentum is going negative and we're into a negative reversal. The best we can hope for in the next couple of days is accumulation. And what we get to see here in terms of momentum, how that has gone negative. Now, that's a very worrying sign. It's a warning sign in general. And one of the only things that can really push it, it's either an influencer that would support this one or people stop panic selling in general. And basically, momentum goes towards the buying side or simply just good news. This company does need some good news soon. Now, in terms of the stochastic fast and stochastic slow, both are pinpointing downwards. That is a very worrying sign as well as it suggests a bearish move. Now, in terms of the moving average bands, this one is expected to trade at 784 in the top, around 713 in the middle, and 641 in the bottom. And what we see here is that volumes have dropped quite significantly. That is a bit of a worrying sign. Um, basically, volumes are being dried up into almost pre-levels before this massive jump. And if it does, then honestly, it just shows that there probably is a lot of people that are stuck in this one um, when volumes were liquidity were higher and interest in this one has moved somewhere else. Now, in terms of Fibonacci retracements, and the reason why I'm showing you this one is because institutional buyers and high frequency traders use it. Currently on the support, we have 741, 621, and 473. Resistances are at 861, 1031, and 1249. Now, in terms of price line action, we're able to see that there is a current massive support that is very important for us at the 761. Below there, we're seeing another one at the 697, followed by 679, 649, and a critical one at 605, and then 557, going downwards to the 470 level and the 406. In terms of resistances, we're able to see 792 as a resistance, 812, going up to 849, around 879, and then up to 912, going upwards to 953, and then upwards to around 986, 1029, 
and then 1073 and then jumping up to 1145 from there on we're looking at 1177 1198 and 1249 comes to the question to Ed, what do you think is going to happen here? Now, I do think that in the next few days, we're most likely going to be seeing some accumulation. Um, if we're lucky, we might also see, this is an invert cup, you might see a handle, but I think it's just going to be an inverted cup kind of situation. It does look in all almost, or most indicators and patterns that we might be in trouble here. Hopefully that I'm wrong, but if there's no news, this one's risk is increasing by the day with the reward thinning up now with all the warrants being exercised and everything in between the flow is about to explode so that means the short squeeze is very unlikely when that happens now what do you think about the sticker make sure to mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day now if you're still here on this video make sure to drop down below and join our discord we have a lot of different things going on including for instance members that gives picks for free it's not pump and dumps we just things we think about swings etc we also have really exciting bots uh, you can actually use those ones for instance we're just testing out this bot for instance that gives you fibonacci resistance points activities etc and we have a bunch of free things totally free we run on tips here and you can ask me questions suggest stocks etc it's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day